Hey everyone, welcome back to Forever Freaky Funko. My name is Anthony. Thanks for joining me today. And today we have some awesome Funko Pops to look at because Funko dropped Stranger Things for season three Funko Pops and your boys got them. Almost all of them, except for some exclusives that haven't dropped yet. So I'm going to cover those with you. I want to get started right now. So we're going to start off with Max. I'm going to go through these kind of quick. I love the new boxing. It's definitely the 80s vibe. The color choices that they use for the, for the box. So I do want to spend a second here to talk about the new color for the box. If you guys don't know, I love Stranger Things. That's going to be the entire set with some exclusives that are not on there that I'll talk about here in a minute. And these are, you know how Funko does it. Once a season drops, then we'll see some more Funko Pops drop for a second wave with some different exclusives. They don't want to give us too many sneak previews, right, before the uh, show starts. So here we got the commons. We got one exclusive already dropped. Um, and I'll talk about the other ones. So next up, I'm going to hold off on that one. And I'm going to hold off on this one. So who do we got next? We've got Erica. She's going to be a new character for Season 3. Now she does have... It looks like... I mean, obviously the season hasn't dropped yet. But those look like some flashlights on a helmet. So I don't know if she's going to be going into the upside down. Or what that's all about. But uh, we'll get to watch it play out. So really cool box. I really love these colors. I hope the camera's picking up on that that um, that yellow and white um, mixture there. And then the red Stranger Things lettering. I just think it looks real cool. Really love the new box. Especially down here with the blue and the red. and the, It just looks great. I really do like it a lot. I'm a big fan of the new box color. Uh, so there's Erica. We don't know what kind of role she's going to play yet, but we'll see when the, when the show drops. So we got Lucas is up next. So uh, he looks like he's wearing, I'm trying to zoom it in there, but I know that glare, that glare is a killer. Um, Lucas looks fly. I, he's wearing some type of jacket. I can't really get a good zoom in on it. I don't want to unbox these guys because I'm an inbox collector. And I do collect all Stranger Things. Like all Stranger Things. So this is the one collection that um, I have just about every single pop to. Minus a few. Very, very few. Um, then we got Hopper. Looking awesome. They're getting into the later 80s, so their clothing's changing a little bit. Uh, I believe they're getting into the later 80s. Um, so he looks like he's wearing some type of... He's wearing some type of Hawaiian... I don't know. It's hard to tell what kind of clothing he's wearing. But um, he's wearing a jacket there, but he looks like he's more casual than his normal, you know, uh, sheriff uniform. So uh, definitely looks different there. So that's a pretty cool look for him. Um, or when he's wearing the, the, uh, the hazmat suit, right? So here we have Steve with some ice cream and that ice cream is going to play a big role here. When I talk to you about their exclusive of Steve, that's going to be dropping. So we have Steve working at Ahoy and he works in the mall, in the shopping mall. So part of the movie is going to be filmed in this, uh, shopping mall where you're going to see old stores, um, some some stores I believe that are out of business today probably um, that used to be around in the 80s, um, but they redid the entire mall like the 80s. So, uh, but Steve's working at the mall, so he's selling ice cream there at Ahoy. Um, so it's kind of got that sailor look to him. So that's the obviously it's a uniform for for the job. So Baskin Robbins, I called Baskin Robbins today. Um, and they said that they are getting the exclusives of Steve, uh, in June, the beginning of June. So I would say, I don't know the exact date. They couldn't give me the exact date. I called three different Baskin Robbins and they all told me the same thing. Um, they don't have a date yet. I don't have a date yet. 
So if you guys know the date, leave it in the comments below. But I haven't found a date yet. Um, but I am searching online to see if I can find. Uh, if I see it, if, like if I see one website say a specific date, um, I usually want to double check and make sure at least more than one reputable site is giving the same date because you know anyone can just throw out a date. So I want to make sure that um, that they're accurate. So I don't want to let you guys tell you guys something if it's not accurate. So um, don't know when it's dropping, but I do know it's dropping early June is when the three exclusives are supposed to be dropping. There's four exclusives. One's already dropped. The three, and I'll talk about them, but that's going to be one of the three. Baskin Robbins will have uh, the exclusive version of Steve. Baskin Robbins. That's right, Funko. I'm telling you. Expanding their brand. So, one of everyone's favorite characters. We got Dustin. Looking cool. Now, he goes to summer camp, um, and he's wearing his camp uniform there. It's called Camp uh, Nowhere. I think that's what it's called, Camp Nowhere. Or Camp something. I don't have my glasses on. Camp Nowhere, or Camp something. Yeah, Camp Nowhere. So, <laughs> that's kind of an interesting name, but there's Steve. I mean, it's not Steve. There's Dustin looking real cool, and... Um, Really cool Funko Pops. These are the common ones, but sometimes the commons are the best. I really like the commons. So um, we have Will. Finally, they did something cool with Will. I know Will's been like a character in the show, but right in season one, he's been he was gone most of the season. In season two, you know, he didn't have a lot of um, compared to the other characters. He just doesn't have as enough enough screen time. So I don't know if they're going to give him more screen time in this one. But I love Will the Wise. Obviously, it's a character. It's a costume on some type of I, I really don't know obviously the season hasn't dropped yet so I'm not too sure about will the wise um, what kind of because he's wearing a costume there how they're gonna use that in the show um, but obviously it, it's something that they're gonna make a fungal pop out of so it's got to be something important um, but I definitely think that they needed to do something with his character because um, his character is kind of stale even though he is like what the show was about at least the first season it was really focused around will um being lost in the upside down and um then having a slug come out of his mouth in episode two i mean season two sorry so anyways doing something cool with will uh and i forgot to mention with dustin so i'll pull dustin back up they are having a glow in the dark will the wise it's dropping at target uh target does not have it yet um I don't know the release date for that either, but I do know it's in the beginning of June. But Will the Wise is a Target exclusive Glow in the Dark. Okay, so they will have a Glow in the Dark exclusive Target exclusive Will. And Walmart will have a uh, Dustin exclusive. Okay, so Walmart is getting a Dustin exclusive expected to drop as well the first week of June. Um, but you know how some Walmarts get them before other Walmarts. So... Uh, June is a safe bet. They're all going to be dropped in June. All the other three exclusives um, for the set. So you got Dustin's going to be a Walmart exclusive. Will the Wise Glow in the Dark will be a Target exclusive. And then Steve with the Ahoy, um, he'll be a Baskin Robbins exclusive. The Hot Topic exclusive already dropped. And then we have Eleven uh, wearing that red jacket. Looking really cool. Um, love... 11 so of course i'm saving her for last and uh we got the hot topic exclusive already dropped of 11 she looks absolutely amazing as always and uh the trailers are not giving much away guys um the last trailer i saw it had um uh i can't even think of his name off the top of my head like three of the the one that's like a ladies man i don't know i forget his name but anyways um, the last trailer was kind of weird. Like, it had nothing to do with Stranger Things. So, they're kind of giving us a curveball here. But, um, I'm still excited, though. This is, and it looks like she's carrying a bag. Um, but this is another one of 11. So, they did drop three 11s. This is the second 11. I know I wish I could take these out of the box and show them to you guys. I really want to so bad, but... Ugh. 
I just can't with my Stranger Things. I just can't. I can't do it. But she does look cool. When you get her, you can take her out of the box. I'm just an inbox collector. And then my favorite one, I actually picked up two of these just because I love this one. Battle 11. What does that mean? Why is she blindfolded? Her nose is bleeding. So you know her nose bleeds when she uses her powers, right? So Battle 11, she did some kind of battle. I hope she doesn't lose her eyesight. I don't know what this is about. This pop makes me very curious to what's going to go down in Season 3. Uh, but again, we're in a different outfit there um, from the other two outfits. So, And she's blindfolded with her nose bleeding, which means that she's using her powers. And it's called Battle 11. That's all we know, guys. And I bought two of these just because I wanted to get a duplicate of this one. Um, just because I think... I don't know, I just like it. I just think it's going to be that. There's something about this pop. I don't know. We'll find out when the season drops. But I'm excited to find out about this Battle 11. I hope it's nothing boring. Maybe this will be like the final episode of Season 3. Does she lose her eyesight? Does she... I mean, they have to cut, keep coming up with creative ways to... You can only tell the story so many ways. And there can only be... You know how many demons are going to come out of the upside down. And so they kind of almost have to reinvent themselves to stay fresh and current. So very curious about that. Blindfolded, her nose is bleeding. So that means she's using her powers. They call it Battle 11. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited for season three. Those are the new Funko Pops that just dropped. Picked them all up. Um, don't forget about the exclusives I mentioned again. You got Dustin at Walmart coming out in June. Um, you got Will the Wise coming out at Target Glow in the Dark in June, and then you also have Baskin Robbins for Steve Ahoy. That's dropping in June as well. So uh, all those should be out by the first in the first 10 days of June, hopefully, in your area. Um, but you know how Funko is. Some areas get them be before others. So you might see here them here first. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I got more content coming. I have more Funko Pops that I picked up. I'd love to share them with you. Uh, I'll be doing that on a separate video. Uh, it'll be called my weekly haul. A lot of cool stuff came out and I got a lot more stuff to show you guys. So thanks for watching. Please be kind to one another. I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care guys.